Uh, J uh, Japanese, they have their own hip hop in their culture, and they like American stuff, and then we like Japanese stuff. So uh, I love all that stuff. Anyway, so congratulations to you, my brother from yeah. another mother. Yeah, my brother from, from another from New York. Still remember New York. New, New York, man. New York City College of Technology. First time I met you. Remember, he was like, why does this guy always want to play teams? Who is this guy? Oh, yeah, yeah. I definitely remember not liking the fact that you loved playing teams a lot. I was like, man, I kind of want to just train singles. And you're like, let's play teams. And I'm, even whenever we, like, finally introduced you to all the homies in New York City so you could train up with us, whenever we'd have the single sessions, yo, guys, can we play teams? And I'm like, man, I hate this kid, man. Why did I introduce him to our group, man? But now look at you. I'm proud of you, man. Top 25 you just made in the summer. Or the summer of 2015. Yeah. Look Those at that. are just numbers on a digital screen. Well, I know I'm better than 25. Ooh. All right, man. And we proud of you, too, man. You went from Brooklyn to, to, to Cali. That's it, man. From Brooklyn to the Bronx, actually. Yeah, and Brooklyn, then, Bronx, Cali. And then Cali just came through, man. The L.A. scooped me up. That That's it, crazy. Man. Like, I'm being interviewed by uh, uh, by her. Uh, <laughs> Twitch moderator, yo. It's crazy. Best friend though. I might I might work for I might work for Twitch, but we're still best friends. Yeah, we're still best friends. Yeah, still, that's one thing that's good about D1, man. Kind hearted person always remembers his roots. Super homies, man. Like when I came to East Coast, I was like, you know what? Instead of like going immediately to New York, I'm gonna stay. It's gonna be me, you, DJ, PB and J. We're just gonna chill, man, play Smash. Have a good time. You know, and it was good. It was good seeing all the homies. And I get to see more. If you guys don't know, catch me at Nebulous. I don't think you're going to be there unless you change your mind. But um, I'm going to be at Nebulous this weekend for Melee and Smash 4, I believe. So it's the grand opening. By the way, congratulations to you. Can I talk to you about how you've been decimating um, like Xanadu lately? What first brought you to Xanadu? All right, what, what brought me? Uh, back in February, I went to Evan's house. After Winter Brawl, and we wanted he wanted to hang out, and then he told me, oh, you want to go to Xanadu? I was like, yeah, I want to fight new people out of my region since I've been fighting all the Jersey kids. And I was like, Nebulous, you know, already, that's my stepping stone. That's always my house. I could go there any time. Let me, let me gain some new, let me gain some new, like, some kind of reused Street Fighter status. Let me, let me go travel the world. And that's when I, I saw these players, and I was like, the region could get better. They just need somebody to, to rattle something up and start stuff. So I, I, I'll be that gateway. I'll be that gateway to start things. So I started targeting Club. I mean, Plink, Nintendo, Red. I, I told them, like, yeah, you better stop playing. Like, Evo's coming up. Yeah, you better get your stuff together. And for Tantor told me that after I did that, Plank started actually practicing. And I, it showed through his recruitment when he actually beat me the previous time we played. Really good stuff, man. But I noticed, you know, as time progressed, you started showing good results, even beating characters that probably might beat Marth. You know, a lot of people, when they see Sheik versus Marth, they'll immediately write that off as a win for Sheik. But in this day and age, things are changing, and your Marth has been improving. What would you say was one of the biggest influencers to you getting better at the Sheik matchup? Well, there's not a lot of videos of, you know, Sheik Barnes playing. So the, the, only through my influence was just practicing a lot, re-watching my videos, and then, like, watching that one design to do with, with PPMB, like, I'm going to use this word because you use this word, decimate it and obliviate it and disintegrate it, Mewtwo King. Damn, that was like 3Ds. No, DDO. But... <laughs> That's for me. Was the Xanadu? It was like 2013, and and PPDMD just came here, and I was like, all right, Mark definitely do it. I'm I'm just gonna keep practicing, and I always put myself like, what if I was Mark? Like I just can't randomly say, wake up and go. Well, I can't switch my body today. I want to be Fox. So it's a pride thing too, but that's how I think in the game. Like you can only define it by like, I can't be you. I can't go. I want to be D1 tomorrow, and that's like what people do in the counter pick. Oh, I can't be doing Mark, so I'm gonna switch to Fox. So I didn't want to do that. I was like, I, I can't switch bodies, but I can hone my skills and make it better and, and make it more stressful on my opponents and be the Marf in our community that will say, like, all right, we have to reach his level. So that's a pretty good answer. Now, 
I guess we'll move on to the Ice Climbers matchup. Nintendo, I know, first off, let us know what you're feeling. What are your thoughts on Ice Climbers as a character? I, I actually don't like fighting them. Like, I don't, I don't like fighting them because you have to play super patient. You can't mess up. And Crouch Cancer plays a, a great aspect in the game. And you can accidentally get, since Mark has a great dash dance, you can accidentally get grabbed if you down to it and run up. And he, he has, like, he just grab. But overall, I, I don't like that matchup. But I know how to play it. So what do you think allowed you to overcome facing uh, Nintendo this evening? Because I noticed, I don't know if you saw, but at first, your down tilts are doing really good against them. Then you just started jumping over them like crazy. Yeah, and yeah. you started adapting. Yeah, all right. So I, I know what you're talking about. And I heard you in comments. Um, when I was down to the end, he wasn't, he wasn't respecting them. So I said, all right, you want to respect. You keep stabbing me. Then he started to figure it out, like he could jump over. So there was times I had to play like possum or dumb and, and keep doing them so I can get him in the condition. I was like, wait, is he really punishing it? Is he noticing it? Or he's just getting lucky? So I had to play dumb. So I'm going to keep doing it until I get hit three or four times. Because I won't die from it. If he jump fares me, I'm not going to die. So then after I'm like, okay, he really was paying attention. Now it's time to switch it up. So it's like, you know, like conditioning him. Like yeah. Kind of some L'Oreal stuff. Condition. Conditioning. So I had to condition him. And that's what I like doing. So you, you act like you don't know how to uh, beat something. And when you really need to take them out, that's when you take them out. There you go. All right. Well, good, good stuff right there by the moon. If there's anybody in the chat that wants to give us one final question. Whoever gives me the best question, I'll make sure to send it the moon's way, and then we'll do our final shout out. So please, guys, it's your turn to help contribute to the interview. It's the first time I decided to do something like this, and I think it's gonna be pretty fun. So let's hear what you guys have for us. Let's see. You know what, you get to choose. I'll let you choose. Now you choose, you're the best uh, at the interviews. All right. Hmm. No, still waiting. Do you like this one? What made you do you like this one? What made you choose? What's your favorite matchup? Do you think that's a Okay. What actually I think this might be a good one. I think this might be a good one. I just Oh, it's gone! No! It's gone, dude. They, I saw someone say, basically, what is the most important technical thing to learn when using Marth? Something like that? That was a really good one, I think. Okay. Yeah. So For, yeah. for all aspiring Marth mains out there, Moon's about to give all you an right, answer. There's, there's three things that's really important with Marth you have to learn. One, you have to learn his movement. You have to learn how to like uh, do sticky walks or do weird movements with people. Like, they look at your character and they're like, what is what is he doing like there's times where i walk up forward and then i sticky walk back and then i grab so you have to learn how to control your movement two you, you gotta know you gotta know the, the percentages or like when you fill up the game you gotta know when to use tip affairs or inside uh, attack moves that's just the great thing about Mark. you can do weak moves to strong moves strong moves to strong moves or strong moves to weak moves so you gotta you gotta learn th those different aspects and you gotta learn how to recover. Like, there's three different ways to recover. Like, you can up beat straight up, uh, like this, or like that. And those, those are the three important things: movement, uh, like your combo game, and and recovery. That's it. Okay, pretty cool stuff. I saw one last interesting question, that, which I'm gonna relate to you. Who would you consider your rival? That's a fun. One. I I had like three rivals back. Three. Then. Yeah. Oh, back in the they days. still exist? All right. Yeah. First, let's hear what the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Um, T Web was one of them. Slocks was another one. Then uh, normally when I when I get like, Hax wasn't really a rival of mine, but since we we're the best in New York, I would fight him a lot. So I can, for me, I consider him like a, a inside rival for myself, like for me to get past a notch over the wall, because he he would always stop me in tournament. And then the, the last rival I had was G Money back in the days. I could never beat him, but then I finally overcame him. So, so back then it was Slox, T Web, and G Money. Yeah. But you overcame those, would you say, or did they yeah, still yeah. come back? Okay, so you overcame those. And now the main rival you have right now is Hacks Money. Yeah, so Hacks sooner, Red. he's he's in your way towards becoming the king of New York. Yes. All right. So we'll see what happens in the future. 
Hopefully we'll see you at a future event in Tri-State area, not in wherever you're going this weekend instead of <laughs> Nebulous, the grand opening. <laughs> Terrible. Okay. But uh, yeah, uh, I guess thank you so much for hanging out with us, Moon. Give us your shout outs. All right, one again, I just saw this. That's crazy. Shout out to uh, my boy uh, Mark Rivera, aka Revelations. Synarch, he's in the chat right now. I just saw his, his comment. Shout out to DJ. Shout out to D1. Shout out to Gims for streaming. You already know the motto we support, he supplies. Shout out to Xanadu for holding it down for all the years. They, they're doing this by themselves, like Apostle and all that. Shout out to Twitch for letting us use the application to actually stream. Shout out to XSplit. I could go on forever, but you know, shout out to everything that that exists in this world, whether you like it or not. All right. Shout well, out to Marth, man. Shout out to Yo, Marth. Shout outs to the shout outs to Melee for allowing Japanese players to be in America. Because they weren't gonna have Roy and Marth in here. And if they didn't have them, I probably wouldn't be playing this game. And White Marth. Shout outs to the White Marth. Alright. I just don't agree with White Marth shout outs. Alright, so You don't have to agree. It's all right. Shout out to respecting other people's opinions. Shout out. Well, well, wait, wait. So guys, let me teach webs. you something real quick. Whenever you have, whenever you shake someone's hand, the webs of the hand have to meet, all right? All right I did there the incorrect go. way. Let's do the. Eh, 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 I felt, eh, eh. Come on, that's a Mutant King right. handshake. Sorry, Mutant King. But there you go. Webs of the hand have to meet. No, no, we'll do it off screen. All right, there you go. Let the webs meet. Wait, what are you doing? No, this is the webs. <laughs> Between the thumb and the pointer finger. <laughs> All right, Gimmer. And I'm out of here. Deep voice. And I'm, I'm, I'm done, right. yo. Um, also, yo, Gimmer, get on the mic. Get on the oh, mic. Oh, yeah, Gimmer has to uh, finish off. Get on the mic. You saw, guys. Yes. Going to be rocking out a new right, for a bit longer. All right. So I have this new thing that fun. I would like to do for Xanadu. All right. Okay. So each time I win. Or, or, or I get like first or second. I just I would like to like put twenty dollars to the side mm -hmm. to to make like a the moon's funding pot bonus for like Xanadu because I would like to get more people to be more active. So every time I win something, I'm just gonna throw twenty dollars to the side and maybe like once once a month I know they have a Xanadu that's ten bucks entry fee. They have it once a year, so maybe that can go toward. A pot bonus tour of that, just so people could come out. Cause I'm definitely trying to drag out Chillin' Dude, Ooh. Chew That, Ooh. Siren, Ooh. Milkman, Ooh. Red. Ooh. So I'm I'm taking some of my money and putting it in the pot. So if y'all want to get it, y'all better come here. Dang, shots, 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 fire. Um, every week, if I win or get second, twenty dollars is being saved on the side, and Gamer's gonna have a tally mark on it. Dang. Shots fired. This is this is a uh, attack on Moon Part Two. Attack on Xanadu. Sorry, don't attack the Moon. Attack on Xanadu Part Two. I'm coming for y'all, baby. So they'll find us anyway. They got IP addresses. Somebody's gonna somebody's gonna tweet it to them or something. I'm not scared of y'all. Wow. Call outs. All right. All right, man. We out. I heard it here first. The man is the realist. All right, here I, you just gave me the money. So all right, so that's that's twenty. That's day one. We we on some what's that what's that thing called? Walking Dead or 28, 28 20 days, days later. left? Yeah, we on day one right now. No, we on twenty. Wait, is it backwards? Twenty eight days later. Yeah, we on twenty eight days day. right now. Twenty dollars in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love ya. Yo. Uh, <laughs> all right, man. Let's go eat. Dang. Yeah, Thank you for I, hanging I'm hungry, with us, guys. Man. Yo, I wish y'all all live here so we could just go to a nice feast. Wait, you know how many people are up. watching, right? There's like definitely. That's two, right, man. We got enough plus. space in the world. If we go all breathe the same oxygen, we go all eat together. <laughs> all right. We out. <laughs>